Hi, and welcome to the third lesson in the Hummingbird Robotics program. Let's take a look at what our outcome is today. We're going to try to add a distance sensor, and I want to show you how this is going to work. As you can see, we have a different little bit of a layout. We've got the LEDs here. We've got the arrow here. We've got this thing, the distance sensor right here. And underneath it all is the rest of the robotics kit. Let's take a look how this thing is going to work. I'm going to push the green flag. And right now you will see that the distance is high. Therefore, the green light is blinking. And as I get the distance less, as I decrease the distance between an object, it will sense this and the... I'm bringing a box closer to it. It'll sense the distance and it'll reflect that distance in the arrow there. So as I get all the way to zero, the red light lights up. And as I go back away, you can see that it moves away as well and goes back to green. This is our outcome. How did we get here? That's next. I'm going to plug in the plus and minus is black and red. Red actually looks more orange here, but doesn't matter. I'm going to plug the black into minus because the negative is with the black wire. So let's get that in there. And the yellow goes in the S. So let's get that in there too. Okay, I've got all three wires in there. That's great. So now I have the distance sensor plugged in. Uh, we'll talk about how to program for it shortly. The, I do want to put it up here. I'm going to look for the side that has a little opening on it. Looks like both of them seem to have a little opening. So I'll place it here for now. And then I'm going to place a little piece of tape across the back of it to just keep it there. Be careful because these are all circuits and pieces like that. So don't hit those too hard. Here is the program. There are two parts to this program. The left side under the hat that says when the green flag is tapped is inside of a repeat forever loop. What it does is it says take the bit position servo. So you're using the position servo, number one, and you're going to set it to whatever the distance is on the distance sensor in number one. So if the distance sensor is like 10, then the bit position servo will be 10. If the distance is 100, it will be 100. I think it goes all the way up to 180. The line below that just displays what the distance is. So you can just take a quick look at it numerically on your iPad when it's actually working when you run this thing. The second part on the right side is what makes the lights go on and off. The very first if statement says that if the distance is less than 20, then light up LED number two. The second if statement says if the distance is greater than 100, then light up LED that's attached to number one. And then it turns them both off in case they went on earlier.